All right, guys, look, I'm just shooting straight with this one. Um, why is your fitness business failing? A lot of reasons, right? But it's not the reasons you think it is. A lot of it, as I've been explaining on another live stream to a private group recently, is most of it is down to your perspective. It's down to your perspective on things and your self-defeatist attitudes. And what I really think it comes down to is that we're conditioned today, sorry, there's a plane going on my head. We're conditioned today with all the online stuff you have and all the influencers coming at you, they're all giving you this advice and this impression that growing a business is gonna be easy, a walk in the park, a piece of cake, you're not gonna have to hustle. You, you know, and what's happened is we've um, created this kind of community of disempowered fit pros who want the rewards of running a business but don't want the responsibility of it. And that's the problem. If you want the rewards that come up with being an entrepreneur, you have to take the responsibilities of being one. And that's what most of you are not willing to do. Because in your mind, you think it's gonna be this easy checklist of steps. I'm gonna make an advert, I'm gonna get clients, I'm gonna close the clients, I'm gonna serve them, I'm gonna build a team, and I'm gonna cash out, and I'm gonna live on a boat and make loads of money. And reality check, spoiler alert, it isn't fucking like that. You are not just one funnel away. That's bullshit, right? You're not one funnel away. Uh, you're not gonna sit and make a dream vision board uh, you know, the reason you're not successful is not because your vision board isn't good enough. The reason you're not successful is not because you haven't got the right funnel. You're not, not where you want to be because someone is stopping you or blocking you. It's not because of your town. It's not because of the economy. It's not because your customers won't pay that. It's not because of the competition. It's down to this. It's your perspective. And what's happening is so many of you guys are asking, what you're, what you're really asking is, Hey Justin, I want to be number one in my town. I want to be the leading fitness brand. I want to win the world championship at boxing, but I don't want to get hit in the mouth. How do I win without getting punched in the face? That is really the subtext of the questions that most people are asking in free Facebook groups and online and, and even in paid programs a lot of the time. And it's the wrong question which comes from the wrong perspective and the wrong expectations. This is not gonna happen overnight for you guys. You definitely can build the number one business in your town. You definitely can um, build a business that gives you freedom and gives you free time. I mean, I'm operating and, and, and co-owning multiple fitness businesses around the world and I'm doing it here from Cyprus in my back garden. It can happen for you, but this didn't happen in 90 days. Right, this did not happen because I locked on to the right funnel. You really think that business success at this level is gonna be because I got three web pages in the right order and connected them with an email list? You think that that's really it? You think like, you know, um, and you know, and, and if you achieve anything of major success in life and, and you actually think it's down to having the right funnel, I, I think you're actually insulting yourself. Right, because if a funnel is just a couple of web pages strung together, that is not what makes a real business. Apple became the largest company in the world not by having the right funnel. Virgin did not get there by having the right marketing funnel. Right, here's a little sneak peek for you guys. Did you know businesses existed before funnels online? Wow, right, some of you are pretty too young to realize that. But you know, I built my first six-figure studio before Facebook ads were a thing. Right, so I don't, so you know, I see fit pros today who are new to this stuff and they, they blame the Facebook ad or they blame the funnel or they blame this or, or whatever it might be. It's none of those things, guys. All it is is your perspective. All it is is you have false expectations conditioned on you of what it's actually gonna take to succeed. And you need to change your perspective to say, hey, if I want to win the world championship at boxing, I am gonna get punched in the fucking mouth. I am gonna get smacked in the face. I am gonna hit the floor like a bag of shit. And I am gonna get back up and try again. 
that is the perspective that actually is going to be a lot healthier for you, a lot more realistic. Because, again, if your perspective is how do I win the championship without getting punched in the face, that is why you stay small. That is why you don't put yourself out there. It's why you don't do the things you know you should be doing. You know what to do. You know a lot of the things, maybe not at a high level, but you know how to get your first 50 clients. You know because you've consumed a shit ton of information online. You've bought into mentors and gurus and coaches. And the fact is you didn't do what they told you because you know what to do, but you haven't given yourself permission to do it. And that's because in life, motivation is very simple. You have right now, you be, you do, and you have exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. So if you're failing right now in your own ter in your own words, you're not where you want to be, it's because you want to be there. But then people say, but Justin, that's strange because I want to be successful. I want more money. I want a bigger business. But the fact is you want to be stuck where you are a little bit more. So you've, you, you 49% want the successful business, but you 51% don't want to get punched in the fucking mouth. That's the difference, right? And Bonnie is backing back here and Bonnie's a very smart, beautiful, intelligent woman who's super su successful in business and she's backing me up. So it's legit, it's, it's cemented now. Um, but that's it guys, you 49% wanna be successful, you 51% don't wanna get out there and do the things you know you should be doing. Simple, done, motivation, that's it. So what you need to do is really look at that, get self-awareness and realize that it, the minute you want things to change more than you want them to stay the same, you will change. The old Tony Robbins quote, all right? So look at that. Look at what, what to you is the equivalent of being punched in the mouth. What are you really afraid of? And question it and say, is that really true? Is that really going to happen? Is it going to be as bad as I expect it to be? Can I get punched and get back up? Because I tell you what, you will not achieve anything of, and, and look at it this way, right? If you achieve success at a very high level, you're going to get smacked in the mouth so many times. But likewise, if you achieve very high levels of failure, if you're a total, total failure in life, you're going to get smacked in the mouth too. So if you're going to get smacked in the mouth either way, I'd rather be getting smacked on the way up, right? So life can punch you down and beat you down and smack you in the mouth and you end up a failure, or you can choose that same path towards success. And your perspective is going to change because if your perspective right now is that the punch in the mouth is a stumbling block, an obstacle, a threat, that's your definition of it. You can change that definition and say it's not a stumbling block, maybe it's a stepping stone because a stepping stone and a stumbling block are the same thing, they're just a rock. It's just your perspective and your definitions that change it that way. So what you need to do, if you wanna be successful in business, and if you have the audacity to say you wanna be number one in your town, you wanna to be the market leader in your category, in your demographic area in business, but you aren't willing to go out there and talk to someone to make a sale, you're stuck, you're, you're just fucking stuck. You've got, uh, you're, you've been conditioned by the online world to think that you're one funnel away and you're gonna hide behind a laptop and it's gonna be easy peasy. It's not. Things are going to go wrong. Things won't go your way. Things won't go as planned. People will let you down. You're going to lose money. You're going to waste money. It's going to happen. The only way to stay sane in all of this is to accept and embrace it. That business is not some series of outcomes or events, but it is a process. It is a process that you're gonna go through with ups and downs and backs and forwards and left and rights and going in circles and all over the place. And you have to learn to get, when you get smacked in the mouth, all you can do to stay sane is to smile, spit out the tooth, get back up and keep going forward and say, mm, thank you for that, I learned something from that. And now next time, I'll be able to dodge that punch just a little bit better. So I don't mean to put a big doom and gloom spin on this, but I think that this needs to be said a bit more. And I think, you know, there's just too much um, vision board nonsense and woo woo stuff. And, you know, the people saying that stuff like really haven't really built a real company. They've built a job for themselves, if anything. 
or they're just not being completely honest and transparent. I'm not saying getting punched in the mouth is a bad thing. What I'm saying is, or, or that entrepreneurialism has to be a negative experience. What I'm saying is things you don't anticipate are going to happen. If you want to be the world champion boxer, you have to get punched in the mouth. It's the cost of getting what you want. Business is no different. Don't look at it like a bad thing. Don't look at it, well, oh shucks, I've got to go through that. Because when you've got you know more experience, I've got 10 years experience in business now almost, and when I look back, my perspective is that the things I thought would give me the fulfillment I was seeking, the outcomes, the events, they did not do it for me, not longer than a couple of weeks. The, the villa, the cars, the lifestyle, the money, the watches, whatever, right? These are all great things, but when I got to these things, and after finally achieving these things, they didn't give me the fulfillment I thought I did. The fulfillment actually came by looking back, and it wasn't in getting the things. The fulfillment for me comes when I look back and realize who I became to get those things or who I became to achieve that success. And looking back and thinking, I had all those obstacles, I got punched in the mouth, but I got up and kept on going. That is what makes me feel good about myself. That is what makes this journey all worth it. That really, because there is no end point, spoiler alert, there's no end point to this, you're gonna keep going forever, but when you look back, you're gonna see that it's who you become on the way to getting there is what gives you fulfillment and meaning and purpose and allows you to inspire other people and give back. So these punches, roll with them. They're part of the thing. And like I tell a lot of my clients, when bad things happen to them, I just use the line and say, well, if these bad things didn't happen along the way, your autobiography is gonna suck, right? So when you eventually write the book, the amazing book about your fantastic life and the big work you've done. No, auto, no amazing, riveting autobiographies are like, I was doing fine in life, then I became rich. <laughs> That's not a very good book. So these things need to happen to you. Just think of it like that. These things are making up your future biography uh, or making the movie they make about you to be even better, right? If there's no adversity, there's no growth. If there's no growth, there's no fulfillment. If there's no fulfillment, there's no contribution. So that's just a reality check for you guys in, in any industry, but mostly to my fitness brothers and sisters. If you wanna be number one in town, get used to it, put yourself out there, and you will very quickly find there's no competition at the top, because guess what? Nobody else wants to get punched in the mouth either. But you know the truth now, you now can choose a different perspective, you go and make it happen, and you'll realize that no matter how hard the punches come, you can take it and it won't even feel that bad. All right, guys, gonna go into our immersion weekend here with 25 Fit Pros in Cyprus. They're all flying in right now, so gonna be probably a bit more offline over the weekend. I'll drop some content and clips for you guys, but um, as always, get in touch if you need anything, and I'll chat to you guys very soon.